Hello and welcome to a bit of a different video today and by different I mean it is actually a live video with my hands and everything not just my voice and some images on a screen and today I bring you a review for a knockoff set of Naruto figures. Now for those of you in the know or who may have seen these before this is the GEM or Gem Naruto and Tailed Beasts set. Now, the original set is quite an expensive one. It goes for around £90 or something. I don't know when it was released. I'm not able to find much on it. But I do know that this is definitely a knockoff because I bought this for £18 and it's sold by a seller on eBay who seems to kind of be a good source for knockoff stuff. Now, I paid £18 for this as opposed to the 90 just to see how it is really because I quite like this set but I wasn't really willing to splash out almost a hundred pounds just for some small figures of the tailed beasts even though I do really like them. Now a very brief glance at this honestly they look pretty good quality already but we'll obviously see further on in the video and for those of you interested the sides kind of have little clear panels we can see some of the tailed beasts not particularly well in this lighting unfortunately. And on the back, we do have all of the Tailed Beasts there and Naruto. Now, I don't remember the name of all of the Tailed Beasts, but I have written them down, so we'll go through them individually and then Naruto. For some reason, Kurama, I know Kurama is Naruto's Tailed Beast, but Kurama, for some reason, is right at the start of the numbers, but it goes 1, 2, 3, 4. Should be there, but whatever, I'm not going to nitpick. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and slide it out, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and man, the uh, weight on these things is pretty impressive. I'm also hoping I can somehow kind of cut the back out there, because I'd quite like to lay them down around that circle, maybe. And I'm sure that's not all that hard. I'll just have to literally cut the back off the box, but it's not like I'm going to keep the box anyway. We've got a little illustration of Naruto on the side there, and Kurama on the other side, I believe. Now, obviously, uh, this is a set about the baby tail beast, and I think a really young Naruto as well, for some reason. I don't seem to remember that scene in the anime, although I do remember where he kind of went into himself to talk to the tail beast, so maybe this is a set about that? I'm not sure. I'm just... Okay, I'm back. I just peeled off some sellotape. I'm sure you guys don't mind that I edited that out. And we have them open to the elements. Now, I'm going to start with Naruto, obviously. Let's have a look at Naruto. Wow. So, so far, um, obviously, I haven't seen the real set, so I can't really tell you how well this compares to it. But, man, I am genuinely impressed. This is looking pretty good, actually. Obviously, it is a statue, so there's no movable parts, but I'm fine with that. I knew that going in. Uh, the headband is a little bit flexible. That's just because it's thin plastic. But, wow, seriously, the details on this. when I Because I took the die for £18, hoping that it would either look weird enough that I could keep it around to be like, man, look at this really terrible-looking weird narrator set, or that it would look kind of good. And I'm really happy to say that it looks pretty darn good. Uh, I don't know, the eyes are painted really well. Is his headband a little off? It's a little off-centre, maybe? I can't quite tell, but then I'm fine with that, because it's kind of attached to some fabric, and fabric isn't always completely straight when you wear it on your head. Uh, okay, so the, the arm thing's looking a little bit weird, because I believe if we look there, I don't think it's meant to be black. It's meant to be white. But, you know what? That looks like a pretty darn good Naruto, really. He looks very young and stuff. And it's a bit weird that he looks so youthful, but he's wearing his Shippuden clothes. But, honestly, he looks pretty darn good. I'm quite happy with that, actually. I will be taking some photos at the end as well, just to kind of show you guys what's the... This where it looks okay. It's not amazing, but oh, there's a little bit of white something there. I'm sure I can scrape that off later. Or, oh, it's come off already. Okay, then. But yeah. Wow, that, like, the, the bagginess of his clothes and stuff comes out in this. That's pretty cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit him over there. Right. Okay, so Shukaku is the first one. 
of the tail beasts. And this is Gara's one, obviously, the one tail. He looks pretty good. Uh, his teeth aren't exactly the most detailed, but my god, wow, the, the paint applications for the little uh, black spots and stuff actually looks pretty darn good. They're not all like universally right in the middle, I guess, so you could nitpick that, but this looks a little more natural, like it's on the fur and stuff. I may be mentally just justifying buying a bootleg here, but honestly, this is this is turning out pretty well so far. Will my tablet want to focus? Yay, there we are. Yeah, that that looks all right, I think. Uh, again, I've got nothing really to compare it to, so that is Shukaku, and the next one up is Matatabi, which I believe is a pure and a translucent. Now, this is actually something I'm quite happy to see. So as we can tell, uh, Matatabi is the two tails and a cat. In the image, when I ordered this, this is a solid blue. And the photos I'd seen from the GEM set showed it as kind of transparent. So I was a little annoyed that it wasn't transparent because I love transparent figures. I don't know what it is. I just really like them. But I'm happy to say that she is indeed transparent. Maybe not quite as blue as I'd like. She looks a little more clear or whatever. Maybe this is cheaper plastic. Obviously, that is what knockoffs do. They kind of use cheaper plastic and stuff. Yeah, there we are. Um, paint apps. Paint apps look already shiny and stuff, but that is because it is used on translucent plastic, and I think paint apps are a little more difficult on that. Matatabi is looking pretty good. Next up is Isobu, which is not that. That is, uh, that is Isobu. Uh, ooh, okay then. <laughs> I think we found the first uh, part that's a little weird. Isobu is really, really dark. Dark grey, I guess, possibly black. I'm not very good with my shades, uh, admittedly. Come on, you know you want to focus. There we are. Well, it's a little difficult to focus anyway, because it's both shiny and black. But if we have a look behind... Well, actually, no, I'm wrong. So, he's meant to have a little bit of green on him, I think, and he's... Well, in the anime, I remember him being kind of grey. In fact, this is a picture of him. So, I don't know. He is just kind of moulded purely in black there, so it's a bit weird. I do apologise, I just received a text there. So, yeah, he's kind of all in black instead of being grey or whatever, but Isobu isn't really one of the ones I was really looking forward to getting anyway, so I don't mind so much. Next up is Son Goku. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to do that. But, yeah, man, Son Goku actually looks... Pretty darn good if it wants to focus. Does my camera want to focus? Come on. I'm sorry about all this. Okay, well, it focuses better on the left side, but man, this is actually a very good looking figure. I could not be able to tell you that this is a knockoff, really. And of course, he has the four tails. Isobu is the three tails. I forgot to mention that, but I'm sure if you guys are watching this, you probably already know that anyway. Yeah, paint apps are looking pretty good. His face, uh, if I can manage to get a better focus on him. Almost. There. Uh, yeah, the paint apps actually look pretty decent as well. I'm not sure, if the, again, if there is anything that's really missing, but they've got all the paint down. They've got the little black bits on his tail painted pretty darn well. I don't think there's anything... They've really smudged there. Maybe the edges are a little bit red. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm okay with that because, again, this is quite a cheap set. Now for Kokowo, the yellow, the white deer thing. Where are they? What? Ah, Kokowo. One of the um, easiest uh, to create tailed beasts, I imagine. Pretty plain white and stuff. It's got a really derpy grin, I'm not gonna lie. And this, of course, is the five tails. It's a pretty simple one, this actually. It's got a few little spots on its back that seems to be 
done quite well. I don't know if they're meant to be a particular colour. Are they? Let's see. I don't think they are. Nothing showing up on that picture, anyway. Uh, tips of its tails, uh, maybe not as yellow as the picture implies, but again, pretty uh, pretty nice looking, I'd say, overall, apart from that face, uh, that honestly, even its mother probably couldn't love. Next up is Saiken, the slug thing. And there we are. Okay, Saiken's looking a little darker, I think, than it should be. I think Saiken's meant to be white with kind of green tips on its tails. Honestly, looking at it, I kind of really like this design. It was always one of the tail beasts I didn't really care about and didn't bother to look at, but it's quite a cute slug thing. It kind of reminds me a bit of um, Tsunade's summoning thing and Sakura's one. I can't remember its name though. Actually, maybe I'm thinking of that one when I'm looking at the colour scheme. What is... No, that's pretty unfitting actually, I think, with the colour scheme. So, I don't know. Again, pretty cool. They've modelled the little mottle things at the back of the tail there. It's got few fat rolls and all these little holes here and the two eye socket you hearing smell things that slugs have i don't know okay sorry i've already uh dropped some of these but the next one uh chome is interesting because it comes with two things i can't exact whoa oh, okay then hang on we'll have a look at him in a second so there's the little lava version which is really cute and I guess maybe they offer both because technically when he was a baby it looked like this and not actually Chome. But maybe they included a chibi version of Chome as well because maybe people wanted a representation of all the tail beasts. And let's face it, this isn't what Chome looks like. But man, this is a good looking figure. Like, look at the shading on the green and stuff. I really like that. Actually, this... So this is the seven tails, uh, as you can see, and it's a it's a simple looking figure. It's got little red eyes and little stubby legs and stuff, and two little mandibles at the front. But honestly, it's a good looking figure. And next up is actual Chome. Uh, yeah, it is Chome. His name is. I, I had to double check there. And he's the kind of evolved form of baby Chome. But man, so this. So th this is one of the actual aspects I forgot, but when I ordered this, this is something in my mind that I was like, they're going to mess this up. This is going to be a solid kind of red paint, which, you know, I was fine with. Again, this is a knockoff, but man, that is really cool. These are all translucent. I don't know if they're meant to be this near each other. It does feel like maybe the plastic, because it's a tiny bit cheap or something, is kind of bunching up together. What is the photograph okay yeah so they're meant to be quite far apart but honestly i'm sure if i like spent enough time gently kind of pulling it away and stuff they could you know fan out but honestly at the moment that looks pretty cool as well his head is pretty yeah that works he's got lots of the weird armor bug eye things and yeah his back has the little stubby things Overall, this is definitely one of the best looking ones, I think, just because he's got such a variety of colours. There's the green at the back, there's all the blue. Actually, are his feet meant to be blue? Have they skipped it and caught? Oh, okay, his feet are actually meant to be blue. And, okay, and those are meant to be green tips. Lovely. And on to the Eight Tails, Gyuki. One of the uh, ones I most look forward to having a little representation of, because I do love Killer Bee. And we see a big mass of little tentacle tails there, and the bull head. I've never been able to work out exactly what Buki is. It's kind of like a bull octopus squid thing. But yet again, he is looking pretty darn cool. He's got all the little details and stuff on his face. Maybe they're meant to be more defined. Let's have a very quick look. The box. No? Okay, so... Maybe the little uh, suction cups are meant to be painted, whereas they're not here. They should be pink, maybe. So this is one of the first most noticeable parts that, you know, define this as a bootleg set. But otherwise, honestly, unless you were really looking for it, I 
didn't realise until comparing it to the back of the box. And this is also under the assumption that the back of the box is actually the official artwork they released with this. I could be wrong, maybe that's literally a photo of the bootleg set that the bootleggers made. Although, if so, that means that they forgot to paint a part of one of their prototype things that they took in the photos. I don't know, though. Yeah, he's looking pretty cool. It's, uh, there's a very clear seam there of the plastic, but you're not going to see that because you're not going to be putting him on his back. Or maybe you are, if you're that sadistic. And the piece de resistance, Baby Kurama. And this is definitely, along with Naruto and Eight Tails, and Shukaku, one of the reasons I got this set, because I do love Kurama, and I don't have any, uh, well, I don't have any figure representations of any of the tailed beasts, so that is the reason I got this set. And he is looking pretty darn cool. There's a bit of shading going on, it's kind of dark, and then it goes lighter. There's not all that much to define, really. He doesn't have anything on his chest, does he? No, okay, no, the image makes him look pretty plain as well, and I think he's, yeah, he basically turned out as he should. So overall, I'm going to rearrange them just so we have a little bit of a better look, and I'll come back and give my verdict. Oh my god, my leg's asleep. Ah. Okay, I am back, and I've got to admit, I am very impressed with this set. There is some incredible detail put into these things, especially for the fact that I paid a fraction of the price. And even though £18 isn't really something that is just a casual purchase, you would definitely have to put some faith into the quality of this. And I kind of did. I took a gamble. But honestly, overall, I am pleased with how this turns out. I'm going to attach some photos at the end here just so you guys can see more in detail and stuff of the setup. But honestly, if this does interest you, then I will leave a link in the comment section below. Oh, okay, Matt, have he's gone. But I will leave a link in the comments to the listing that I found this on because, wow, yeah, I'm genuinely pleased with this set. I may find some flaws later on, but so far, I'm pretty darn happy that I now have Naruto and all his tailed beast friends to display on my shelf of other anime-related things. So that about wraps it up for this uh, review of the bootleg GEM Naruto tailed beast collection thing, whatever you want to call it. If you've enjoyed this video, do feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more things not like this, because this is quite a unique set, but, you know, more anime and game-related things, maybe, or Pokemon cards. I don't even know what I'm going to be doing in future. If you did enjoy this video, do feel free to like it or dislike it if you didn't like what I'm doing. And as always, leave a comment if there's something you'd like to contribute or something I've left out, or you'd like to point something out, or I don't know. But until next time, goodbye.